What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug, this is Doug Does Digital. And in my last video, I talked about how I quit my full-time, six-figure salary job to work for myself pursuing Amazon FBA. So if you haven't watched that video yet, go check that out. It's kind of like an intro video. But today, I'm gonna to be talking about how I lost $15,000 and then got it back doing Amazon FBA. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you four things to help you on your Amazon FBA journey. So make sure you stick around to the end for those. So you might have seen some of these videos on YouTube. How I made $10,000 in a month doing Amazon FBA. Or this girl does 40 grand a month selling one thing. Here's the secret. Well, let me tell you the real secret about it. That that isn't how it always works. Now the gurus, you know, I've learned a lot of stuff from them. Like a lot of stuff. But what, probably my biggest takeaway is something that I learned for myself. And that it's the way that they portray things isn't how things always go. Let me talk a little bit about how I learned that the magical 10k a month, you know, in one month or, you know, 40k in two months or whatever. Let me talk about how that didn't happen for me. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my findings and why it doesn't always go that way. So first, there is so much money now that goes into making this kind of thing possible. There's so much money that goes into making Amazon FBA a full-time passive endeavor. The investments just really aren't initial. It isn't like, hey, I'm gonna put X number of dollars into this and I'm gonna get this much out of it for the rest of the lifetime and I could just sit back and do nothing. Yeah, there are some cases where that happens and I'll tell you like the sums are gonna be large that people put into that because there's a lot of things that happen along the way when you're going down this path. So we'll break it down a little bit. How much did I initially lose or invest you know, before seeing some type of return where I could be like, oh, okay, this might actually work. Well, to start, it was about four grand. And we were like four grand into it without having any money come back. And that was just to start to kind of dabble within Amazon FBA. Then, you know, at that point when, you know, after we started kind of selling some things, it, it, we were doing okay. Like, like we started to see money kind of come back, but then we pushed, and when I say we, I mean my wife Haley and I, you can check out her channel as well, I'll link it below. When we started to move into like, hey, this is serious, let's do it, let's break in like a bigger product and let's really put more money into it, we went 50% in the red. And what that came out to was like that investment that put us into the red like that was eight grand. So we were about twelve to thirteen thousand dollars in, and plus or minus a little bit more, you know, including some other things that we invested in uh, to kind of to start this FBA endeavor. We it was like gone. Like we spent all that money, and you know we didn't see you know, the 40 grand a month come in at that point. Like it was, that isn't how it worked. All this was over eight months time. And I kind of looked back on those videos and thought like, man, how do these people start making all this money that, you know, that, that within a couple of months, it's crazy because I spent so much money and time preparing this whole thing to do it. Um, well, to kind of break it down, a lot of the things that we spent money on were like initial courses to figure out, you know, how to do it. Is this something that we want to be doing? We need some type of guideline. We need some type of framework for us to be able to follow. Uh, there were product samples that we purchased. So you have to know what kind of product you want to be able to sell. So we find some manufacturers somewhere and then we say, hey, we want to check out your products. What do you have? You got to order a lot of different samples to make sure that you're getting the right thing. So you also have to get an Amazon Pro seller account. I mean, I don't actually know if it's required, but that's what we did because that's what was recommended. Uh, it's, it was like, ended up being like $40 a month. Um, and once you start making some money, Amazon just kind of tag takes that out of your sales. Then like the huge cost, obviously the initial investment in product. Uh, actually, let me, let me go back and explain this. So we spent a lot of money on uh, an, an initial investment in product. The reason being is that if you buy a small batch, you know, let's say like a hundred or 150, um, of products by the time you like rank and sell to get your you know, you know and sell that product you have to order again because you only have 150 of them like so only selling 150 isn't long-term thinking so you need to just throw money into it to be able to get a sizable number of products to where that way you can make money back to reinvest into your business so it went from the supplier to us then from us to Amazon so all that shipping is included in that total and then we also had inspections done to make sure that, you know, since we couldn't see it physically being made, we weren't there. Um, we had inspections done to make sure that everything was being done per our designs, per our requirements. So all of that money, you know, it's not something that you initially think of. You really think like, you know, the some of the gurus make it sound like, I could just go find a product that people like on Amazon, I'll go to some place like Alibaba, and I'll go ask somebody for it, and then I'll just sell it online. Like I'll, I'll have them ship it to me, I'll give it to Amazon, and then it just starts selling. Well, that's not what happens. 
So some other things that a lot of people don't talk about is having to rank. Like you need to try to rank your product so that way people can see it to buy it because there's thousands of products on Amazon. Like nobody, nobody really talks about that. Like you have to be able to rise above the noise for your product. So some of the ways that you do that are ways that of course cost money. One of the things that we did was we spent money on Facebook advertising. We wanna be able to go out with Facebook. You can really target down and hone in on your demographic. Some of those things are changing due to some of like the, the data restriction laws that have been coming out. Um, but you can basically like target a specific niche of people that would be interested in your product. So we spent money on Facebook. We also spent money on Instagram advertising as well. So that's one set of advertising that we did. Then we also spent money in Amazon pay-per-click. So as you scroll through the Amazon listings, you're gonna see some things that say sponsored. We were also paying money so people could just see uh, our listing that was there or our product. So we would have a chance that they would buy it. So there's a lot of investment that happens, you know, up front before you start making a lot of that money. And if your product never takes off, dude, you might be out that money. So knowing that, knowing that you could really put twelve to fifteen thousand dollars into this thing before you really see a positive net return it's kind of scary you know it's not for the faint of heart it's not like the gurus say where you know just you can just up and do it you really need to mentally prepare yourself so if you want a get rich quick scheme or you want to know like hey how do i make money like now instantly doing amazon fba amazon fba really isn't going to be for you at this point like the game has changed the rules have changed over the years from what I've learned um, to where it's a legitimate business. But if you do your due diligence and you put in hard work at the beginning and you're not scared to spend some money in order to be able to break out of the traditional nine five, then it's something that you could definitely do. So when we spent all that money and didn't see that huge initial boost in revenue, and we didn't see that huge you know, income increase that came through, it was really disheartening, I, I have to be honest. So it really makes you think like, is this something that I really should be doing? So I had to really train my mindset on this. I had to really learn how to embrace uncertainty. And as a former nine to fiver, as a former full-time employee, uncertainty isn't something that I want. I don't want that at all. I didn't even work in sales because that's too uncertain for me. So I had to really retrain my mind to embrace that uncertainty. So something that really helped me train my mind was this unf yourself book. Now I'm going to say unf because it's very, you know, PG up here on YouTube, but um, you know, I obviously refer to it in different ways because it really did unf my brain. Like it was amazing how this book helped me retrain my thought process on the way things were going about in my life, especially when it came to Amazon and especially when it came to leaving the safety net of a full-time job. So that book really helped me, again, on a couple of things. It helped me embrace uncertainty and it helped me not expect something to happen a certain way. Those were two really big key takeaways that I took out of it, it in respect to just the Amazon FBA game. Got my head back in it and I was ready to dive back in and make that money back, which we eventually did. So in all, over the 10 months or so that was there, we you know spent a pretty large sum of money didn't see an initial return, could have lost it all. If, if we just gave up, it, that would have just been it. It would have been gone. But, you know, pushed through it, retrained the thought process to get out of the nine to five, to get into an entrepreneurial thinking and earn that money back. Now, how did that feel? Like, that was just such a victory to be able to make that money back and to be able to break even. It was huge. It was validating the process of, of doing Amazon FBA. We were able to see numbers and sales roll in. And we were able to overcome a, a type of, you know, a type of, of obstacle, a roadblock that was there. So that was a huge victory. To be able to help replace my full-time six-figure job with a passive income, and I put passive in quotes because there's so much work that goes into it at the beginning that it's really not entirely passive. But at some point it can be, and that's kind of what we're working towards. And you know, I'm still doing work, it's just nowhere near 40 hours a week. To be able to replace my full-time income with that passive income is huge. It's mind-blowing. Like, why would somebody want to want to sit at a desk, you know, for eight or nine hours a day doing work for someone else when there's an opportunity that's out there for you to be able to do this digitally from your home with your family? It, it's crazy, and like I said, it was just a huge victory. So having that happen to me really made me realize like what other opportunities are there that lie in the space 
And those are some of the other opportunities I'm gonna be talking about on this channel. Okay, so as promised, here are those four things that will help you on your Amazon FBA journey. Now, I'm not gonna to get too corny with this, hopefully, but these are four things that I just, that really resonated with me once I kind of overcame that first hurdle of losing all that money and seeing that money drained out. So number one, you need to have the right mindset. If you're going into this again thinking, I'm gonna make money quick, uh, it's, you know, it's gonna be easy. It's gonna take me no time at all. I'm not gonna to have to put any hours in this. That is the wrong mindset. You need to expect nothing and accept everything. Thank you, Unf Yourself book, because that was something that really helped me that was there. You need to have that mindset, move away from the nine to five, move away to the uncertain, and that's really gonna help you on your journey. Number two, don't wait, just start now. Like, you need to start now, because if you just sit there thinking like, oh, I have this idea, or maybe I can do this at some point, or, you know, it'd be nice, but maybe I'll watch 80 hours more of YouTube videos to learn about it. Like, that's not gonna help, it's crazy, how many people, including myself at the beginning, just dawdled. So don't sit there, you know, twiddling your thumbs, get started now. So number three, you need to treat this like a long-term business because if you try to think of it as like a get rich quick kind of thing, again, you're expecting it to be a certain way and it's not gonna go that way. Now, if you treat it like a long-term business, it could be passive forever. It could be passive until Amazon shuts down or until something happens. Hopefully Amazon doesn't shut down, don't get me wrong. but. If you treat it like a long-term business and invest in the right things, then it's, you know, that's the way that you're gonna be successful. And number four, the last thing that I would say, well, not the last thing, but my last tip for today to help you with your Amazon FBA journey is to remember what it is that you're working towards. So do you wanna spend more time with your family? Do you wanna just sit around on the couch kind of doing like different things while you make money passively? Do you wanna travel anytime that you want? Do you wanna not have a boss? Do you just hate working for other people? Like, remember what it is that you're working towards and that will fuel you through the difficult times. You can't get discouraged because something is happening and forget what you are working towards while you're in the details of things. Just make sure you remember what you're working towards and what your goal is, and that's really going to point you in the direction that you need to go. All right, guys, well, hopefully that video wasn't too all over the place. Of course, there's a lot more details to go through. Like I didn't even touch on, you know, legal investments and stuff to how, how to be able to run a business. I just kind of want to embrace the overall idea of Amazon FBA, how I lost that money and then how I got it back. So if you really like this video and you want to hear more videos like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave some ideas down in the comments for other videos that you want to be able to hear about. Also, I really appreciate some kind of constructive criticism since this is my first time doing this type of video. So be sure to leave comments on that as well and I'll see you guys next time.